Welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, we miss you, by the way. Yeah. We are a little bit late, but we got a really good video. So today we're going to talk about racism. Racism. So, reason why we're going to talk about this is because this past few days we've been looking at some videos. And these videos, um, they were pretty disturbing. Um, at least to us, we'd like to know what would you think about these videos. We will leave the uh, link. Yes, and so so you can watch them yourself, and then you know give your own judgment or whatever your opinion. Um, so these videos that we were watching pretty much uh, talked about how people treat people of other color, skin color, differently. Well, because their religion or how they dress. Where they're from. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and pretty much we wanted to talk about a little bit about this and so let's get it started, alright? So the first question, do you think we live in a place of racism? Are we living in a place of racism? As um, in the United States or the world overall? Yeah, I'm sure that we do. Maybe more. You know, it's living in a place where people see us different because we came from different, com yeah, different countries. So I think yes, we do. We do. We actually do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, my answer to the question is yes. Uh, very similar to yours. Uh, mainly in the United States, just because everybody. Uh, it's an immigrant, you know, uh, I think it's kind of, you know, useless um, being a racist, but, you know, to one its own, right? So, I mainly believe we do have more racism here in the United States. Um, Today we were watching, like, some videos, and in one video, for example, I was, I was seeing, like, Okay, they put two people, like one with the light skin color and the other one with dark skin color. And they're trying to go and approach another people to have a conversation, a regular conversation, so only like, you know, be nice. And yeah, like people try, they different. Like you can see the people actually try better the person with the light skin color. So it's wrong with this Yeah, one, like. It's two people only trying to be nice. I do think people definitely, uh, certainly, uh, judge people that have different uh, clothing. Different clothing, you know, people get stirred at super differently. And I feel like it's sad when people talk about another person only because of how they dress. Yeah, that's dumb. Or for their religion, because they happy how they dress, they happy they religious, they happy with their life. So if you're happy, why you have to talk about other person? Or why yeah. you have to look at this person differently? And okay, I get it. If someone come to you, like to talk to you and be friendly, and you don't want to talk to another person because you're shy or because you don't like to talk with other person, it's fine if you want to talk to them. But don't be rude. Like okay, you can be nice with them and say okay, you know what? I'm, I'm or, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and just excuse me, you know? Yeah, but a bit nice. You don't need to be rude with others. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree, but certainly going back to the question, I do think that uh, people do get treated, treated differently because of, uh, you know, maybe because they just are from a different religion and it's like oh okay now that i know that you are from this religion or you don't believe in god for that matter it's like okay i'm gonna look at you differently like like boom like everything just changes and i think that's that's pretty messed up because just because i believe in this doesn't mean that you know who i am or what my mindset is or where I, you don't know what's going on through my mind so therefore uh we shouldn't be judging other people with that being said, everybody in the world will judge forever, yes. Uh, we're not saying that it's gonna stop. Yes, we would love it to stop. Uh, we all been guilty of it. We're not saying we never judge, of course we have, but we grow from that. Like at least um, in my experience, I feel like 
um, I stopped judging when I realized that um, we're all the same. It doesn't matter uh, what I think. It matters what that person thinks. So it's like that was a big stage in my life because like I literally grew up. I grew up from being in ignorant, you know little kid that just like thought he knew everything when I clearly didn't uh, and just when I started to put myself down and just like in a, in a humble way when I pretty much just like sit my mouth and just like pretty much learn from everybody like uh, you know you really truly come to understand that there's no point on judging or being racist or Socrates once said that you know uh, before dying one of the greatest minds in the world that we've ever had uh, he said that the only thing that I know is that I know nothing then why should we think that we're all this and that oh I have a degree or you know what I didn't I don't have a degree but I have all these buildings it's like it doesn't matter it's like just just be let's be the best people that we can be and this this is the whole point of this YouTube channel first of all I know we're going a little bit off topic kind of not really but that this is the whole point of our of this YouTube channel like us sharing what we think and what we've experienced and what we uh, have learned from all these different cases and, and try to help others because that's our main goal to help yeah yeah try to help others and i think it's so stupid guys that some people think that being racist or make fun of others it's fun it's cool yeah it's like no, you're looking like an ignorant. Yeah, because like such what happened? Let me ask you something. Like, what happened if your mother happened to be with so someone come to her and, and make fun of her? What happened if you have a son and someone come to make fun of? Her? So once we can really come down to like appreciate uh, all the people, appreciate what the uh, you know the struggles that all the people go through then we pretty much just kind of become more uh happy with her if you want attention only for you the world is not gonna stop only for you wow could not say any better yeah the world isn't gonna stop for us specifically but you know what maybe uh the questions the third one is uh why do you think why do you think this is happening jess um do you think it's because of our parents, uh, people's parents, you know, do you think it's happening because of the society we are living? And do you think it's because of the, you know, past? It's my parents, uh, like, they always teach me, like, try people good, no matter what their color skin or religions or whatever, that doesn't matter for me. So, pretty much, uh, they taught you not to be racist? Yeah. Good. So, but I think. As for the parents. Parents' fault, yes. Yeah. Right? But also, how so? How so? How is the parents' fault? And because sometimes, you know, all this stuff for the parents, they start being racist too. So if. The kid okay. Picks up. Yeah, it's like, okay, if we are together and we are racist and we have a child, we want to teach them, like, okay. You don't need to talk with those people, or you have to talk with those people only. Why? Because this is happening to the world. They, they are bad people, you know, like... It's Start like, judging, yeah. yeah. Putting people labels. Labels. Yeah. It, wow. But it's only because they see, maybe in the TV, what is happening. Obviously, parents, they want the best for the kids. I'm sure that they they love them and they they want the best. Let's hope they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it's more like our society is it's pretty much teaching us like how to act or how to be with others, and I think that's messed up because we need to be ourselves and if we want to talk with everyone in this world, like we should do it because why not? We lose nothing with trying right so i think it does have to do with their parents um because they're our first teachers our families are you know our family uh, i mean they're supposed to uh teach you some values and if they if they didn't um because you know nobody's perfect right um if they didn't then you just kind of have to 
you know, observe, just, just watch and if you feel like something's happening and you get this weird feeling in your gut or in your heart that's telling you like, oh, I'm seeing this and this doesn't look, doesn't look or doesn't feel good, doesn't sound good, then it's like, you know, you just got your answer right there. Or at least we want our kids to grow up and be able to make, uh, take their own decisions, their right decisions. Mm, they're not going to make the right decision all the time because it's live, right? But um, my answer is, um, it comes down to us being able to um, be self-aware of everything that's going on and just be self-aware of your life. We all have different color eyes, different hair, different uh, skin color. So yeah, it comes down to like you literally being able to be self-aware of what is it that you think is good and what is it that is best for the world, for society. The other question is, how can we change this? Jessica, how can we change this? Wow. <laughs> it's difficult, like... For everybody to... Yeah, for everyone to change this because it, like, it has to come on you, like, if you're so how you wanna look at others and how you wanna treat others. So it's like, I feel like it is starting with teaching people that everyone is the same. Yeah, I'm sure that everyone knows that we are the same, but it's like, okay, like, I don't think it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, okay, it's difficult because not everyone wants to change. Not everyone wants to change their set mind. So it's like, that's the, yeah, the mindset. So that's the thing that for me is kind of difficult because not everyone wants to change. So it's like, and we cannot, and we cannot be like, okay, I'm gonna put like a little chip on your mind and, and you're gonna change. That's not gonna happen, like. Ever? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And if it happens, then that just means how weak human beings are because they are most likely waiting for some type of change from our governments to do something for the best of us which is insert a ship that's gonna give us the values that would be so, that and this is this is gonna go be online forever like if this if for some reason leaders you know world leaders governments decide to do this within the next 100, 200, 300 years, we spoke about it first. <laughs> this is so sad because we can change our mindset today if we want. This right second. now, yeah. yeah. But, nah, yeah, like, not everyone wants that, not everyone thinks the same, so I think it's like, it comes to you if you want to do the change, if you want to help others, if you want to, if you have the heart and the love to change the world or try to help to change the world, I think that is one step for help to change the present because that make me sad. See, see things like this make me sad. And to in the future, my son be like be treat be treating people bad. Wrong, yeah. yeah, or looking or, at other people. Yeah, or him being bullied. Like I don't want that for my son. I don't want that for the Nobody. future. Yeah, I don't want for no because if you think about it, many people are taking their life because they are being bullied and it's like that's not right like that's not cool that's like, a big problem yeah because sometimes people maybe they ask for help and no one help them or they don't ask for her for help something because they're scared and I think this is so wrong and one more time I said this made me sad I don't like to be living in a place like this that's very powerful my answer to that would be peace love unity respect peace if we were all just peaceful with each other uh, 
love. This is like another like major key that the world needs more of. Like you and want I, love, I want love, you want love, everyone wants love. And I feel like when you talk about love, you need to love yourself and you're gonna love everyone because if you love yourself, you're gonna be happy with you, you're gonna be... You're gonna understand yeah, stuff. And, right, so love. Uh, love also means self-discipline. Uh, self-discipline is also known as self-love self or love and so if we were just to be uh, lovely as in like or just to have love sorry if we just have love all over the world the other one is unity if we were just all united we all come down to uh, this fact that we're all the same we're all human beings we all have eyes you know we do so many things the same it's like why can we just come to the fact and agree that it doesn't matter what color skin you have, we're all the same. You cut yourself, there's gonna be blood. You're gonna see your meat. Like you're gonna see like you're you know what I mean? Like we're all the same. So therefore why can't we just Yeah, it's, it's like not everyone have a different color of blood, like Yeah, and if you do have a different color of blood then you know <laughs> Bro, like, let me take a picture. Let me, yeah. take a, let me take a video of that or something. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know. So if we, if we were just to come to that fact that we're all the same, uh, you know, all these countries that we are all from, we're all the same. And you may get offended because I'm saying we may look a little different, but we're all the same. Like, all these flags and all these countries. Like, I, I truly believe they were created to cause problems. Last one, peace, love, unity, respect. The last one, respect. It would be so much easier for people to respect each other because uh, you just would appreciate and respect what that person stands for, like everything in general, like just respect. It's not difficult to be respectful with others. Respectful, like yeah. I mean, if you respect me, I'm going to respect you, yeah. right? So that's... And, and I think we can learn so much for one, for different persons. Because if you talk with someone, I know for a fact that you can learn something from this person. Whether it's something good or bad. You, yeah. You, yeah. So, so right, it's like, okay, if I'm going to... If I know that, I don't know at all. And I know that I can always learn more. Uh, because that's what I want. Like you said earlier, not, that's the problem. The problem is that not everybody wants wants the same things. Not everybody wants uh, to change, change, but people are not willing to take off the bad. And this goes for us too. Like there's some things in you too, I'm sure, uh, unless you're perfect, I'm sorry. Um, there's some stuff that you may want to change about yourself. And what happens, like we are just too stubborn to let whatever go, right? And so, it's like we don't want to change we may know we got to change but we just don't want to so that's where the problem begins because people are not open-minded to you know uh accepting that we're all the same we all need love we all need to be united and have respect for each other then you know and i think like okay i get it if you don't want to change okay that's fine that's, that's you, you. That's you. But it's like disrespectful. disrespectful with others because you don't like if someone comes to you and be disrespectful with you so why you you have to be like that with others like that make no sense if we focus on peace love unity respect and we just keep focusing on that maybe maybe within the next few years because it doesn't it's not gonna happen like this within the next few years you know our our world will change because we are just focusing on the positives the last thing i want to say people if sometimes you are out in the street or wherever and someone needs help you help just go and help them because i right. feel like Sometimes maybe you're going to need help That's right. and you're going to be alone and, and you're going to you want to want someone to come to you and help you. So if you see something in the street, someone, maybe a woman, a pregnant woman, doesn't matter if she's in like skin color or whatever, 
just help her. And the best part about just helping, yes, you did something amazing for society and for the world, you know, in general, and for your God, if you believe in God or whatever, you did something good, but guess what? The feeling that you get afterwards, the feeling of you helping, knowing that you did the right thing, that's such a great high that we should all be looking to get each and every day. It's like my conclusion, I would want to end it off with uh, peace, love, unity, and respect. Let's have fun, but let's also be considerate and let's respect. Y otra cosa que quieras decir y le quiero decir en español para que me entiendan exactamente lo que quiero decir es que dice una frase que ayudar a otros es lo más egoísta que puedes hacer ¿por qué? porque cuando ayudas a otros todo lo bueno que va a venir después a ti va a ser mucho mejor de lo que has ayudado o sea, yo creo que si puedes ayudar a alguien Dios, el universo, lo que tú quieras pensar va a venir a ti el doble de lo que tú has hecho so, si lo piensas de una forma es like, ok, si ayudo a alguien me va a regresar a mí el doble, ¿por qué no? Seguro, ¿por qué no? Bueno, uh, thank you so much for watching, first of all. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with us and, you know, being open-minded to our, our opinions. At the end of the day, these are our opinions. And we want to know what you think. What goes through your mind when you're listening? What is it? Like, I, I want to know. <laughs> Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And please, please, please help someone and smile more. And be nice. We love you guys. we we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Y que inventen la mejor, la mejor vacuna contra el racismo. Messi para presidente. <laughs>